Okay, so this is my second example in evaluating trigonometric functions of any angle. Uh, yung angle theta natin given yung constraint. Okay, so number two, ang function value natin is cosine theta equal to 8 over 17. And constraint is sine theta less than 0. So, pag sinabi natin cosine theta, according to the definitions of the six trigonometric functions of any angle, siya ay may ratio na x over r. So, ibig sabihin, ang x natin ay 8, ay 8, ang r natin ay 17. Okay, so ano ba wala sa atin ay y. Okay? And then, ang constraint natin, sine theta is less than 0. Illocate muna natin kung nasaan yung angle theta natin. Okay? Sa first quadrant, si cosine is positive. So, okay dito. Positive kasi yung given natin cosine. Cosine theta is greater than 0. Posible, nasa first quadrant. At sa second quadrant, positive din si ano? Ah, sorry, sa fourth quadrant. Sa fourth quadrant, positive din or greater than 0 rin si cosine. Si cosine. It's either first or fourth quadrant ang location ng ating angle theta. Pero may constraint tayo, si sine. Saan ba less than 0 or negative si sine? Negative si sine sa third quadrant, sine theta is less than 0 sa third quadrant. At negative din si sine sa fourth quadrant. Then 0. Pero si cosine dito sa third quadrant ay less than zero din. So, saan ba ito natugma yung ating function value na given at saka yung constraint? Mapapansin ninyo, dito siya tumutugma. Una, positive si cosine. Check. Okay? Tapos, si sine, negative or less than zero. So, therefore, yung ating angle theta Located siya sa fourth quadrant. Okay? So, sa fourth quadrant, ang positive lang dyan ay cosine at cosec, uh, second. The rest of the functions, negative. Okay? So, naandito siya. So, naandito yung angle theta natin. Sa fourth quadrant. Okay? So, only cosine and second ang positive. The rest of the functions are negative. Okay. So, alamin na natin yung other five trigonometric functions. Unahin natin isolve si y. Solving y. Okay. So, since siya ay nasa fourth quadrant, ang y natin negative. Okay. So, ang ating formula, r squared equals x squared plus y squared. Ilipat natin sa x squared. So, we have r squared minus x squared equal to y squared. Substitute natin o square root both sides. We have square root of r squared minus x squared equal to y. So, ang gagamitin natin dito, positive or negative? Of course, negative dahil nasa fourth quadrant yung ating angle theta. Okay? So, y equal to negative square root of, substitute natin si r, 8 squared, ah, sorry, uh, 17 squared, 17 squared minus x squared is 8 squared. So, we have y is equal to, that is, uh, gamit ang calculator, so that is 17 squared equal to 289 289 minus 64 so equal to negative square root of uh, that is 225 therefore y is equal to negative 15 again gagamitin natin is negative kasi nasa fourth quadrant at ang y doon ay negative now, solve na natin yung 6 or yung 5 trigonometric functions. We have sine, theta, uh, tangent, theta, cotangent, theta, uh, cosecant, theta, and second, theta. Again, ang mga ratios niya, we have 
y over r, uh, y over x, x over y, and r over y, and r over x. y natin ay, ang ito, negative 15, over r, r natin ay 17. Tangent theta, y over x, so that is negative 15, x is 8. Then, cotangent, reciprocal lang ng tangent, 8 over negative 15. And then, cosecant, reciprocal lang ni sine, 17 over negative 15. And for second, reciprocal is sa cosine, that is 17 over 8. So, yun yung aking second example in evaluating trigonometric functions given yung constraint natin. Thank you.